actually get into the Google form. So the moment you've all been waiting for, go to docs.google.com. So right there we are. Um, click on create, go to spreadsheet. And this will pull up a Google spreadsheet and forms is hidden right here. So go to tools, form, create a form. So um, this is the form that we saw earlier. So um, this is now going to be a survey. So instead of untitled form, we'll um, let's type in student survey to choose the class they want, right? And put some helpful text here like this survey is for all of us to choose the class we want to take on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 10 a.m. You can say, um, please send it to us by February 18th, 2012. All right, so that's it. So this is the title of the survey. This is helpful text for the survey itself. And then um, question one. Um, do you want this class to be a technology class? And helpful text. Um, Technology would cover Google Docs, search, etc. And then text would, if he just left it at text, they would just type in the text, but we don't really want that. We want them to um, pick um, from an answer. So let's say um, multiple choice. So the first option is yes, and the second option is no. And that's it, and we want them to answer this question. So we're gonna click on make this a required question, and done. Now, we don't wanna type in all of this again, so we click on this, which you remember from the previous session is duplicate. So that would just duplicate the question from above. So so here we want to say, do you want this class to be to be a biology class? And then uh, this would cover the different species of birds. Okay. And here, again, we can choose, uh, we can uh, choose, let's, let's choose checkboxes and see what that is, right? So um, here we want to give them more than one option. So let's have sounds interesting. Um, oops, um, let's go then, not really. And then third, only if we get off 15 minutes early. All right, and this is also a required question, and we click done. Um, let's have one additional, um, let's say we want to make a small change. Um, let's say we want to make that if we get off 20 minutes early. So click on edit. And then you can go in and change that to twin and then click on done. So here we, we've used the, um, so far we've used duplicate and edit. And this of course is delete. Let's use duplicate again and have one last um, question. Let's see what if you want a tech class what subjects 
do you want? Right? And so that's the question. And help text, we'll just, you know, type in something here. And then we'll say, um, let's say um, check boxes or multiple choice. So let's let's choose multiple choice this time. Um, and let's say um, Google search Google Docs. And programming. and spreadsheets let's say that's all we want and now instead of multiple choice let's say we want to do uh, check boxes because we realize people can pick more than one topic so as you see your whatever you typed in earlier is still there and this has changed to check boxes and then you click on done so that finishes pretty much your um, basic survey and when you click on email this form it will uh, this um, screen will pop up and you can type from your contacts or type in the new email addresses here so I'm going to send this to myself and click send so this would email the survey that we just completed to the people that we want to send it to um, so that, so congratulations, you've just designed your own survey and sent it out to a bunch of different people. In our next session, we'll see how the responses are captured in uh, Google Forms and what this looks like um, when you see it online. Um, we'll actually take a quick look right now. This is what the um, form looks like online. and. Um, in our next session, we will then um, look a little bit more at um, what happens when different students um, fill in the different answers and what the responses look like. That's it for this session. 